In this section, we're going to calculate slopes and elevations with each of the objects and compare the differences. The first one we'll look at is the line. So we can edit the elevations of each end of the line in the properties dialog box. I've drawn a second line attached to the first one at the end just to see how they react. They don't react with each other. If I change this elevation to 13 just to make it different and then I change this one to 11, nowhere in here does it tell me the slope between those two points. So I'm flying blind a little bit. I know the difference between the elevations, but I don't know the slope over that distance. So that's not very helpful. Also, the change I made to the first line, even though the two lines are touching, they don't affect each other. So sometimes you may want that, but usually you don't. Usually you want all entities coming to the same coordinate to be at the same elevation when you're trying to build a surface. That's how a tin surface is built. What we can do now with Civil 3D is we can actually label the line by using lines and curves, a single segment label. And now we see the slope is 2.5% on that line. If I click on the line and change one of the elevations, that slope automatically tells me what it is. But what I can't figure out is how to get exactly 2% if that's my goal without manually doing the calculations on a calculator or in an Excel spreadsheet or something, or trial and error until I get the grade that I want. And that's not very helpful. The next object we're going to look at is the polyline. And of course, since the polyline is all at one elevation, we're not going to get any slopes out of that. So this is useful for retention basins, drawing a single contour at a single elevation, but not much more than that. 3D polylines. These used to be very heavily used in land desktop. 3D polylines have lost their usefulness now that feature lines are such an integral part of Civil 3D. The interesting thing is I cannot label a 3D polyline. I can click and it won't, it won't label it. I can label a line. I can label a polyline. I can label a feature line. I cannot label a 3D polyline. So that makes it very difficult to get the grades that you're looking for when you're going from one vertex to the next.